Hi, I am Simi Pasha and you're watching Good News Today, our special series where we bring you positive stories of hope and courage. These stories don't necessarily make headlines but showcase the triumph of the human spirit. Our first story comes from Gujarat where the state government has started an experiment aimed at making its police more accountable. A machine that registers police complaints has been installed in Ahmedabad. Not only does it record first-person accounts, it also allows for follow-up checks. Gopi Maniar with this story. The police won't file an FIR? No worries. Go to the ATM. Yes, that's right. Go to the police ATM and file a complaint. This kiosk in the Sanan police station area of Gujarat records complaints by people who have not been allowed to file an FIR. The machine is a boon for all those hassled by cops when they go to file complaints. In fact, this machine also registers a complaint against the erring person in uniform. This is not FIR. This is a when you don't complain in the police station, when you come here and do your complaints, then you can see the whole police under me, like the SP, the DYSP, the PI, and the regional police officers will reach your photo with your complaints. You don't have to write your complaints, you don't have to write your complaints, you don't have to write your complaints, you don't have to write your complaints. If you are an unpaid man, you will have to write your audio message to the SP. In 24 hours, you will have to take action. Please note that this machine is not an FIR ATM. It does not lodge FIRs, but only complaints. My PSI has not complained to me. I have selected your name from PSI. But once the complaint is lodged, it asks for the name of the police officer who refused to take the FIR. The machine has the facility to record video complaints as well. This is very helpful for those unable to write. The machine can record complaints in two languages, either Gujarati or English. To identify prank complainers, the machine clicks photos of each complainant. The exception to this is if the complaint is of sexual harassment or rape. Women's related complaints are one of the Palatkar and the Sarayrik Manzik Tras. There will not be any photo of the complainant. According to the law, they can't take the photo. As well as for their registration, for their safety, there are a lot of forms here. Once they are registered once, then the police will take care of them. If no action has been taken in an FIR, that too can be registered in this machine. The people of Sanand are very optimistic that this machine will certainly improve how their complaints are resolved by the local police. With Gopi Maniar in Ahmedabad, Bureau Report, Headlines Today. Now to the incredible story of 17 young boys who have been provided an opportunity to travel to Sweden to participate in the Gothia Football Cup. Not only will this tournament expose them to international players and coaches, it will also give them an opportunity to get onto a plane and travel to another country, something they have never done before. Both Amanullah and Imtiaz would be boarding a flight to Sweden. And the brothers would be the first from their family to have made a journey to a foreign land in an aeroplane. Their father works in a factory in Pimpri Chinchwad area of Maharashtra. Despite coming from very ordinary circumstances, the brothers found an avenue to shine through football. And now they have been selected to represent their country in the prestigious Gautia tournament. I'm very happy that I didn't get to play in such a big tournament. The company has selected me here. I'm very happy and my family is very happy. People say that if we have a selection, then we will also want to do a career. We also want to sit in the Vimam. That's what they say. We want to sit in the first place. We don't want to sit in the first place. We want to sit in the first place. We want to sit in the first place. ये खुश हो रहा है, डर भी लग रहा है। While the boys in their youthful enthusiasm dream of one day meeting soccer stars like Ronaldo and Messi, their family is overwhelmed by the gift of this opportunity. तो फुटबॉल खेलने के लिए वो स्वीडन जाने वाले हैं। इस बात की मुझे बेहद खुशी है। और मैं शुक्रगुजार हूँ उस एस्केप कंपनी का 
अल्लाह से दुआ करता हूँ कि वो कामयाब होकर वो ही नहीं बल्कि पूरी टीम कामयाब होकर आए बड़ा बेटा जो है चौथी बार जा रहा है और छोटा बेटा है वो पहली बार जा रहा है कितनी खुशी हो रही है ये तो मैं बता नहीं सकता कि इतनी खुशी हो रही है मेरे को कि मैं बता नहीं सकता मैं बयान नहीं कर सकता ज़्यादा कोई बड़े आए नहीं हमारी कोई जायदाद वेजाद है नहीं और दूसरी हम मेहनत करने वाले हैं मेहनत करके खाते हैं तो उसके लिए हम अभी भी किराए के रूम में रहते हैं तो हमारा उतनी हालत ये नहीं है कि वो ये उनकी हर एक फरमाइश पूरी कर सके ये कर सके हा? तो जितना मिलता है उसमें सुकून है Gadkari brothers are part of a team of 17 boys all from similar backgrounds who have been selected from their academy for the prestigious tournament this year with Pankaj Kelkar in Pune Shujoy headlines today 80 year old Suman Urao can barely sign his name but his contribution in the field of environment protection is unmatched this man has single handedly designed dams to irrigate fields in his village using rain water his innovations have now been recognized by international scholars who are flying into ranchi to learn from him he is in his 80s and he witnessed india's struggle for freedom a struggle that instilled in him the conviction that independence is a commodity that needs constant maintenance it is not enough to own your motherland because it needs to be sustained in its purest form shimon orao devoted his life to doing just that he fought to preserve his land Shimon built dams so that the land of his forefathers could be irrigated so that people around him could farm so that rain water could be preserved The three dams that the self-educated Shimon built were of his own design each one of them 45 feet in height and made of locally available material अभी तो सात गांव के मिल रहे हैं अभी तीनों बांध खेत बन गया उसमें पानी तोड़ना फोड़ना कुछ नहीं है यहाँ बराबर दो फसल धान निकल रहा है अभी His people are poor living in drought prone forest area these tribals have been lured by contractors into clearing the forest around them Shimon sensitized them and led a movement to save the forests. Three times he was sent to jail, but he never budged from his resolve. He initiated a move to make it mandatory to plant five saplings for every tree cut, a rule that is enforced in this area. Because of his selfless devotion to maintain this land of the ancestors, Shimon to his people became Shimon Baba. गांव का लिए हम लोग का लिए भगवान है हम लोग हम लोग हमारा पिताजी है तो वो भी भगवान है जेवियर समाज से भेजा कि विकास मित्र से भेजा कोई जन उस संस्था से जुड़ा हुआ था तो आया हमसे बैठा उठा देखा दाका और वो पूरा हमरा सारा काम को देखा जे, जे कैसे किसे काम कर रहे हैं कैसे जंगल उगा रहे हैं कैसे गाँव में बैठा रहे हैं कैसे खेती करवा रहे सारा चीज के देखा Shimon Baba has been nominated for Padma Shri by the local administration and while his work has been internationally acknowledged Shimon remains content having lived his promise With Dharmveer from Rachi Bureau Report for Headlines today Now to the story of video volunteer Shanti who helped rescue 12 agricultural workers who were being illegally detained and tortured by their contractor. These people had been hired in Karnataka and were being forced into bonded labor in South Goa. Here's their story. झारखंड राज्य खान और खनिजों से संपन्न राज्य है 
फिर भी यहाँ के ग्रामीण आदिवासी काम के तलाश में दूसरे राज्य पर पलायन करते हैं और वहाँ पर कई तरह के शोषण का शिकार हो जाते हैं ठीक इसी तरह की घटना है गुमला जिले के कमरा प्रखंड के टाटी गांव से भरत साहू और उनके साथ में ग्यारह पुरुष दो महिला एवं चार बच्चे तीन महीना पहले रोजी रोटी के तलाश में मजदूरी करने के लिए गोवा गए थे आप लोग कई जन गए थे काम करने के लिए गोवा हम लोग साथ में गए थे तीन लड़का और मेरा पत्नी और तीजू का पत्नी और मेरा दो बच्चा था और तीजू का भी दो बच्चा गोवा पहुंचाने के बाद जब काम मिल जब वो बाथरूम था उसके पास पहुंचे उसी दिन सात बजे पहुंचे और सात बजे से ही काम में लग गए जब शुरुआत में तो बहुत अच्छा ही कर रहा था लेकिन बाद में उसने बहुत ज़्यादा परेशानी में डाल दिया हम लोग को क्या काम करवा रहा था आप लोग को हम लोग को गटर में साफ गटर काम करवा रहा था यहाँ पे कांच था कचड़ा था बहुत ज़्यादा गंदगी थी बहुत ज़्यादा गंध आ रहा था लेकिन वहीं पे नहीं काम करेंगे बोलने से मारपीट करता था इसलिए करना ही पड़ता था काम दिन भर काम करते थे बारिश में भींग भींग के और शाम को साढ़े सात बजे छुट्टी देता था छुट्टी करता था उधर से अरे रूम रूम में तो शाम शाम को दिल्ली मारने शुरू करता था सुबह शाम सुबह शाम उस समय सबका पैर में घाव हो गया था जो नाला साफ़ करने समय जो कचरा पानी कचरा कचरा सब पैर में पड़ा तो घाव होने लगा जब पैदल चलने भी नहीं सकते थे लेकिन वो ज़बरदस्ती काम में ले जाता था किसी को सिर दर्द कर रहा है किसी को बुखार आ रहा है आज काम में नहीं जाएंगे बोलने से बहुत जोर मारपीट करने शुरू किया बहुत मारपीट करता था ठेकेदार बोलता था हमारे जेब में सब पुलिस मेरा जेब में है ऐसा बोल बोल के रात को लेके आता था नौ बजे दस बजे रात को पुलिस और हम लोग को बहुत मारता था मेरा जेब में है बोलता था पुलिस वाले को हम मालिक के पास फोन लगवाए तो मालिक बोला कि तुम्हारा भाई सब पुलिस का अथी जेल में है से गांव से आओ और पुलिस से बात करके रिहा करा के ले जा बोला मालिक उस टाइम हम वो सुने और शांति के पास घर गए और ज़बरदस्ती रिक्वेस्ट करके और उसको ले गई मैं तीन लड़की मिल के उसका घर गए मालिक का घर तो हम लोग को पूरा ज़ोर से डांटने लगा कि तुम लोग क्यों आई हो और मेरा घर कौन दिखाया ऐसा डांटा हम लोग को तीनों को और हम लोग का सामने बहुत ज़ोर से पीटा पर हम लोग नहीं डरे और शांति अपने उधर बाहर बाहर अपना एन जी ओ का थी आदमी सबको बुलाई और उधर लिखा पढ़ा करके और अप्लीकेशन डीसी के पास हम लोग पहुँचाने सब कोई मिल के गए मड़गाँव गए अनेक अनेक दोन तीन एन जी ओ आए तो सो मनसर तेमी एक ह्यूमन राइट्स वन ऑफ द ऑफिसर्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गोवा कॉन्टेक्ट कर तंटा एडवाइस दी कि दिस इश्यू कम्स अंड द डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर दे शूड कंप्लेन मेक अ रिटर्न कंप्लेन टू द कलेक्टर आने कॉन्ट्रेक्टर स्ट्रेट ऑर्डर दी कि यू हैव नो राइट टू होल्ड डैम यू तेंगे कि सैलरी हा तीन घून का वी साउथ गोवा के डीसी एन डी अग्रवाल के पास शिकायत दर्ज किया गया तो तुरंत कार्रवाई हुआ उसके बाद जो दीदी लोग इंजॉय वाली दीदी लोग थी वो लोग हम लोग को पूरा साथ दिए और पैसा मिला उसके बाद हम लोग जब बस में चढ़े तो हम लोग को हम लोग को देखने लगा किस रूट से जा रहा है उसको फिर हम लोग को जहाँ उतरना था वहाँ नहीं उतरे बीच रास्ते में उतर गए और जंगल में हम लोग रात भर किसी तरह बिताए उसके बाद हम लोग को जिस रूट आना था ट्रेन में चढ़ के उस रूट नहीं आके हम लोग बम्बे का बम्बे के रूट से आए और किसी तरह घर पहुँचे और अभी खेती का काम कर रहे हैं उस ठेकेदार के पास हम लोग काम कर रहे थे उसको उस समय हमको जेल में ही रहना अच्छा लगता था लेकिन उसके गुलामी में हम लोग को रहना अच्छा नहीं लग रहा था ये ठेकेदार के ऊपर जरूर कार्रवाई किया जाना चाहिए क्योंकि हम लोग गरीब को बहुत सताया है उसने इसलिए इसको कड़ी से कड़ी सजा मिलनी चाहिए but a lot of emotionally savvy robots are also interacting with people have a look you can read your emotions 
and it can express itself as well. Pepper the robot hopes to be your best friend soon. Lecture d'émotion. On commence par avoir nos robots capables de savoir si en face d'eux il y a une, une émotion positive ou une émotion négative. Ah, ça, on a déjà, on a déjà ces fonctions de base. Donc, il sait si en face d'eux la personne est contente ou elle n'est pas contente. Mais euh, contente, c'est un truc ou pas contente ou triste ou énervée. Voilà, il ne sait pas ça. Il sait juste si c'est positif ou négatif. Ce qui est déjà bien, ce qui ouvre déjà plein de possibilités. Et petit à petit, dans le temps, nous en interne ou avec la communauté, on va pouvoir élargir ça à toute une gamme d'autres d'autres émotions. A strange voice welcomes all to this studio in the suburb of Paris. It's a studio full of robots. These robots can chat, dance, and argue with people. On est encore, on est dans le jeu. Euh, il ne fait pas encore humanoïde, donc euh, non, non, c'est ça ne fait pas du tout peur. Euh. The 260 square meter studio is organized in three main spaces discovering, learning, and developing. People are meeting larger Pepper and smaller NAO models at the discovering section. Mais il y a un vrai lien qui se crée, euh, mais comme il s'en crée avec des objets. Est-ce est qu'on peut euh, avoir des émotions Est-ce qu'on peut aimer des objets Parce que la question de fond, c'est celle-là. C'est un objet, un robot. C'est un objet particulier, c'est une créature artificielle, mais ça reste un objet. Est-ce qu'on peut aimer des objets Il n'y a qu'à voir les enfants avec leur doudou, avec leur ours en plus. Avec... C'est bien sûr que c'est possible d'aimer, de, d'avoir des émotions avec des objets, à condition qu'il y ait un, un, un historique affectif, et à condition qu'il y ait un vécu émotionnel commun. Right now, these robots designed to live and move are only on display. There are 25 sensors fitted inside them to make sure they do not unintentionally bump into or hit anyone. The company says Pepper can operate for over 12 hours before needing 6 hours to charge up its battery. The good news for those interested is that these robots will be commercially available from February 2015 onwards. Though the catch for now is their price tag of $1,900 each and the fact that you can't in India. But that may change too, who knows? But a dog still remains man's best friend. Here's a story of how a dog inspired his drug addict, homeless master, back to a life of recognition and self-respect. Dog is a man's best friend. That's a relationship that goes back centuries. And the relationship between George and John Dolan is just another of a million examples. But it is good news nonetheless. This is a story of how a dog discovered an artist. Dolan used to be addicted to drugs and live the life of a homeless vagabond. Lost in the dark alleys of crime, George came into his life in exchange of a can of beer. The puppy changed Dolan. Panhandling on the streets of East London, he picked up pen and paper to capture the moods of his canine friend. And when Dolan's talent got recognition, life turned a new page for him. You know, he's just a really beautiful dog and I saw him, the drawings that I do of him are quite simple um, but I've done one which has been in most of the papers, it's the very detailed one, it's quite a big drawing. Um, I've captured him magnificently in that but these little ones that I do, I basically try and capture his personality if I can in all of them. Um, yeah, so, stay there, stay there. 
I mean, John's rise has been really meteoric in the art world. It's like being watching an artist's career in Fast Forward. That's what a lot of the artists say. So his first show was a sellout. He's got this second show now coming up that's really, really amazing. He's got a book and he's doing a show in Los Angeles and all this kind of stuff. So there's a real relevance to his work and there's, there's a real soul in it because it has a true story behind it, you know, that's very inspiring. And that's borne out in the work when you look at it. John, by his own confession, had gone off the rails when he found out that his parents were actually his grandparents. Drug addiction followed and then crime. But then, George came and the two of them set out on a journey of resurrection. So when I first got George, he was hand shy. Um, he was quite an aggressive dog. Uh, he, would, he would growl at you and he was a cat chaser. Um, he was weary of people. And when I started training him, within a month of me starting to train him, he basically his personality changed. He became just a really pleasant dog. George is now a happy dog, and John a happy man. The two still live on the street. The dog as the muse and the master who has found purpose to his life. He keeps catching his best pal till the end of times. Bad day at work? Not to worry, Hong Kong has discovered laughter yoga as a remedy to stress. Now if that reminds you of your local laughter club in the park, well this one is different. <laughs> These exercises are unapologetically silly and they remind one of the laughter club at a local park. This is laughter yoga. To kill stress and to rejuvenate workers, corporates even in Hong Kong are increasingly depending upon laughter yoga therapists. Oh, they they, they go crazy about it. Like, I mean, the, it, it's remarkable. We, we see remarkable results. Um, we see many happy faces. Um, uh, this, uh, the day after the, the, our first session, when I met one of our colleagues, um, the first thing she said to me is, ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. You see, I, I can see the difference. The Hong Kong version is the brainchild of certain Dr. Madan Kataria of Mumbai and his laughter yoga therapy. Central to laughter yoga is the tenet that the body cannot differentiate between fake and genuine laughter. Humor boosts the immune system and lowers the blood pressure. So fool the body into laughing for 10 to 15 minutes a day and burn calories. The whole concept of la laughter yoga is that you laugh for no reason, you fake it until you make it and your body doesn't recognize or your mind doesn't recognize whether you're laughing for a reason or not. Your entire body is being exercised. Your internal organs, your heart is being exercised. You're getting a great cardio workout. 10 minutes of belly laughter is equivalent to 30 minutes of cardio. <laughs> <laughs> laughing exercise has been immortalized in Bollywood <laughs> And the good news is that now the homegrown therapy is going global. Who said Indians don't have a sense of humor? That's all we could pack into this edition of Good News Today. You too can send in your feedback. Tweet the team at HLT Good News. Have a great weekend.